This video is going to go ahead and show you how to build your interactive polling presentations. So you're first just going to start with the Turning Point Cloud dashboard and then select PowerPoint polling. This will just open up Microsoft PowerPoint and depending on which version of PowerPoint you have, it may look a little bit different, but you basically have two options. You can begin from a blank presentation or an existing PowerPoint that you've created previously. Now once you get into that PowerPoint, you'll notice at the very top center we have a Turning Point Cloud tab. This is our integration with PowerPoint. And when you're ready to insert your interactive slides, you're going to choose where you want to insert that question. You're going to select the New button all the way to the left, and then Multiple Choice. Now from here, you just have three required steps. Your first step, we're going to go ahead and type in our question. Your second step is going to be to type in up to 10 possible answers. And I'm just hitting enter to get additional answer options. And your third and final step, all we have to do is click one time outside that answer box. It's going to populate our charts corresponding with our answers. Now that's all you have to do to complete a turning point slide. If you want to take this a couple steps further, you can set a correct answer for your question. Over on the right, simply expand scoring options and then choose the drop down corresponding with your correct answer marking it correct and everything else incorrect. We can also visually show our students the correct answer on the screen. Back in that Turning Point Cloud tab in the upper left corner, if you choose Objects, Correct Answer Indicator, you can choose the indicator of your choice. It's going to show next to or around your correct answer. And just like with any image in PowerPoint, you can resize this, you can also move it around. There we go. Now once you've built all of your Turning Point slides and maybe all of your PowerPoint slides, you're obviously ready to save your PowerPoint. Now this is just a PowerPoint file, so you're going to save this the same way you typically do. So I'm going to head to File, Save, just choose a location wherever I save my presentations. Rename it if I need to. Once I close the PowerPoint, it's going to bring me right back to that dashboard. And that's building your presentation. Reach out to us with any questions or additional training.